Welcome to the Self-Validation Reflection Guided Meditation. Find a quiet room and make yourself comfortable. You should take a posture or position you can maintain throughout the duration of this meditation. It should be comfortable, but you should also be able to remain alert. Before we begin, I would like you to set yourself an intention. This intention should be to remain open and curious about your thoughts, feelings, and internal experiences that surface during this period of reflection. Let's begin. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. Start by emptying your lungs and pushing your breath all the way out. Inhale through your nose to the count of one, two, three, four, five. And exhale to the count of one, two, three, four, five. Inhale through your nose to the count of one, two, three, four, five. And exhale to the count of one, two, three, four, five. As you breathe deeply, you feel your body settling into a natural rhythm. We begin at your heart space. Place one or both hands over your heart and allow them to lay at rest. When you are dealing with difficult emotions, thoughts, or experiences, this can provide you with comfort. With your hands over your heart, what do you notice? Is it in the weight of your palm? Is it the temperature of your hand? Maybe it's the beat of your heart. Take all of those sensations in with a gentle inhale and exhale to expand your awareness. Inhale through your nose to the count of one, two, three, four, five. And exhale to the count of one, two, three, four, five. Inhale through your nose to the count of one, two, three, four, five. And exhale to the count of one, two, three, four, five. Think about yourself and how you validate your experiences. The truest form of self-validation occurs when you observe and describe your internal experiences with raw accuracy. There are no guesses and no assumptions. For an example, My boss yelled at me today and I am angry. My hands are shaking a bit 
so I am also anxious and afraid. Stating the facts surrounding your experience validates you and instills trust in your internal experience. When you interpret your experiences in ways which you cannot observe to be true, invalidates your internal experiences, which leads to distrust and misconceptions of what is really going on inside of you. Focus right now on your inner self. What does your internal experience feel like? What emotions do you feel right now? How does your body feel? What words can you use to describe your internal environment? This is about a time of reflection and a moment of introspection. This is about getting in touch with your deepest inner self. Whatever comes up, meet it with curiosity and compassion. Inhale through your nose to the count of one, two, three, four, five. And exhale to the count of one, two, three, four, five. Inhale through your nose, to the count of one, two, three, four, five. And exhale to the count of one, two, three, four, five. Now think about your familial relationships. What is your role in your home and how do you support others? How do they support you? Focus on your breath now and pay attention to the sensations that arise as you think about this part of your life. Now shift your focus back to your breath and notice the sensations and sounds it brings. If you feel difficult emotions, squeeze and unfurl your fingers as a means of releasing the tension those difficult feelings are bringing. Often, We underestimate the value we contribute. You undervalue your role in your own life, but you also undervalue your role at work, in your family, with your friends, and in your community. And that fuels the need for validation The only person you should seek validation from is yourself. Think about the ways in which you have undervalued yourself. Think about something you have done for family or friends recently. Something that made an impact, no matter how small. Reflect on something you have done at work, something that contributed to the success of the business, no matter how small. 
Again, reflect on something you contributed to your community, no matter how small. Inhale through your nose to the count of one, two, three, four, five. And exhale to the count of one, two, three, four, five. Inhale through your nose to the count of one, two, three, four, five. And exhale to the count of one, two, three, four, five. You have already gained insights from this period of reflection about how you perceive the world and interact with the people around you. Do you see points where you need to broaden your perception or pursue clarity? Is there a situation you've been casting judgment on? Bring all of that to mind and approach it with loving kindness moving forward. This will help you shift from a place of judgment to a place of curiosity or kindness. Inhale through your nose to the count of one, two, three, four, five, and exhale to the count of one, two, three, four, five. Inhale through your nose to the count of one, two, three, four, five. And exhale to the count of one, two, three, four, five. The ripple effect of even the smallest action can be dramatic. Repeat after me. I am in touch with my deepest inner self. I am aware of what I am going through and I observe and label the experiences accurately. I trust myself to observe my internal experiences accurately and this builds trust in my experiences. Inhale through your nose to the count of one, two, three, four, five. And exhale to the count of one, two, three, four, five. Inhale through your nose to the count of one, two, three, four, five. And exhale to the count of one, two, three, four, Take a moment to sit with your breath and experience your thoughts and feelings. When you're ready, 
wiggle your fingers and your toes to bring your awareness back to your physical body. Come back to this meditation regularly to instill the practice of self-validation within yourself. You can return to your day at any time. <laughs>